Alright, this is a three card reading. I would like to call it the idea, but I'm not sure. It might just be the three card reading. We'll figure it out later. But, um, it's just three cards. It's not nothing crazy. So, we have Pixie here. We have Roses, and we have Bad Marks. I always like to squish Bad Marks. But, um, yes. Pick whichever one resonates for you, and we will get started uh, with the first one. So, let's see what happens. Totally 100% fun. Alright, so, let's start off with Pixie. Alright, so your first card is going to be the idea. Idea for what? Uh, so we have the Ace of Wands, we have Willpower, in Inspiration, Start of Something New, An Exciting Time, A Brilliant Idea, Creation, Accomplishment of a Business, Fire in Your Belly, and Desire to Do Well. So you might actually have something uh, in mind, or you might be very successful in business right now, and you might want to expand. So there's that. And then we have process. The process is going to be the star in reverse. So loss, theft, fatelessness, other people's jealousy, interfering in your life, not getting what you expect, even if it's what's good for you, insecurity, and dis-encouragement. Uh, so there's something here that is going to stop you in your tracks. It's going to be a bit of a problem, and I feel like it's probably location. You might be in California, um, or in a place where it's like a high theft rate. So just be aware of that. You might want to have an online store. It might help, you know, but in this day and age, you never know, you know. Just, just be careful. I, I feel like that's good advice. But, um... Let's see. We have number three with aspiration. We have the four of swords. The four of swords is self-care, rest, time alone. Much needed rest, time away from social media, time to reflect, restoration, and contemplation. Okay, so you're doing that already. But hopefully you kind of think about what would be easier for you to do and what's easier for your customers to do. I wouldn't put the like most expensive items in a store. I would have them online as exclusives. And then I would kind of have like the smaller, less expensive things in the store, you know. So people can see them with their eyes. Or you could have like dummy things if they're expensive items but make a secondary one that's like fake you know so it's like a model and it, and it will say web exclusive or something on the side so they get the actual one when they order it but that's just something that's like a look-alike so in case you have people looting they get the fake one and your customers get the real one that actually paid for the item which I always love faux items you know <laughs> The best things are the display items that are fake, so it kind of fools the looters into thinking it's real. So, let's see. Uh, your channel message is focusing on a new beginning. So hopefully I helped you out with your new beginning, and it helps you to stay in business, either in a live store or a physical store, um, and you're successful. I know it's a little bit hard running a store in the physical realm of, you know, retail, but hopefully it does, you know, kind of make you rethink how you, you know, display and supply things, okay? Put the fake items under the counter so it looks like the real items, and put the real items in a safe place so in case anybody orders them off your online store, they can actually get it the real one at their, you know, their own residence. 
Anyway, group one, hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form, and you feel better about everything. It's just reconsidering how you display. It's nothing crazy, right? Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next reading, right? Later. Alright, we have the roses. Okay, so your idea. We have a two of wands in reverse. Two of wands is discontentment with achievements, discovering the grass isn't always greener, getting what you want and still being unhappy. So something here isn't what you expected it to be. Could have been false advertising. But I feel like it's kind of um, you not knowing what you want. Alright, so that's it's an entirely different animal altogether, isn't it? Um, but yes, uh, process, we have just, no, uh, justice in reverse. Oh, that's sloppy. Anyway, so justice in reverse, you will get what you deserve for the worst. A negative legal outcome, dishonesty, unfairness, bad contracts, uncredibility, um, commitment made, which is not good. So there's something here that is not to your benefit. Um, like I said, it's a little sloppy. <laughs> Seeing the 11 and the 2 together kind of makes it into a 13, and 13 is not a good number in tarot. Um, so hopefully, you know, you kind of get out of the situation. But, uh, you know, it, it could be a long time, or it could be a lot to take on, you know. So, aspiration, we have the Page of Cups in reverse. The Page of Cups in reverse is childish approach, emotional immaturity, fantasy, um, insecurity, disappointment, rose-tinted glasses, someone who gets their own way. So you might kind of be one of these people that kind of throws an adult tantrum and gets their way. But I feel like it's more than that. I feel like it's, uh, it's to the point where it's almost crippling other people to, you know, actually take that on. So fair treatment and karma is going to come into play here, probably in the near future. And it might not be too good. So that's kind of why I'm cringing at this whole uh, thing. Um, just, just be better to people. You know, you're not entitled until, you know, it's so crazy. But I, but I feel like karma is not going to be good. Okay, so be very careful with how you treat other people. Anyway, group two. I will see you in the next reading. Hopefully everything works out. And, um, you know, I, I just feel like karma is, uh... I, I feel like karma's gonna hit all at once. I feel like you might have done this a little bit too many times. And it might get out of control. Okay, chaotic, even. But anyway... I will see you in the next reading, alright? Later. Bad marks. Alright, so group three, we have idea. Your idea is going to be the Ten of Cups in reverse. Uh, so the Ten of Cups in reverse. You try too hard to achieve the American dream, like the thought of it more than having something, or shattered uh, dreams, broken family, or domestic disturbance. So I feel like this is all idealism at the current moment. You probably are like, well, I want this, this, and this. I have to do this, this, and this, 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 and this. So you're following somebody else's rubric on how they achieve success and not following your own 
you know, talents and successes. There's a reason why a lot of things don't work for other people, but they work for some people. Um, you probably will be one of those people that has a different route to success. So, anyway, we have process. We have the queen of wands. <laughs> the queen of wands is strong business mind, leadership, qualities, ambition. Courage, a nature lover, uh, determination, friendship, joy, and organizer. So this could be you organizing for your business, your idea, your project. Um, I feel like it might it might take a little bit of practice to get it right, though. So be very careful. You're gonna learn a lot, and you might fail. Disney failed his first time pitching an idea to another company. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's Murphy's Law. Something has to go wrong in order for everything to go right. So, just, just remember that. Anyway, so we have Aspiration. Aspiration is going to be the Temperance. The Temperance is pure contentment, middle path. A peaceful home life, patience, the end of arguments, the end of conflicts, finding a middle ground, let's see, management of time and money. So there's, there's going to be a lot of work to be done, okay? So you're going to have to balance everything or try to navigate things to manage it better, okay? So... For you, we have the channel message, the water and salt fairy tale appreciate the value of ordinary life. So, in the water and salt fairy tale, it talks about how salt melts in water and becomes salt water, um, and it doesn't taste too good. But, um... <laughs> you have to understand that that is normal for all salt and all water to do the same thing when mixed together. And that's ordinary life. There's a metaphor in there somewhere. But anyway, um, I feel like you have to be appreciative of what you have now. And then anything you gain is just extra gravy. Okay, so just, just remember that. Anyway, um, group three, hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form, and I will see you in the next reading, alright? Later.